Korg has really outdone themselves with two of the effects included with Volca Sample in the sense that they've brought a really interesting strategy for not only incorporating each effect, but also giving you the ability to use each effect in creative ways, especially where the reverb is concerned. If I hold down the function button and then hold down reverb, I'm greeted with an empty row of step buttons. If I activate one of the step buttons, one through 10, I'll enable reverb exclusively for that part. Though you won't notice it till you turn the reverb mix up. You'll notice that if I turn the reverb mix all the way up, it will begin to wash the part out almost completely. You pull the reverb mix back, suddenly you can hear the part much more clearly and even put the reverb behind the sample part. If I use the function plus reverb button shortcut again to add another part under reverb, you'll notice that the mix affects both parts assigned to reverb. And if you add more parts to the reverb, all those parts will be affected too. Reverb acts as an auxiliary effect and affects all the parts that are assigned to it. But this is great news if you'd like to build highly ethereal environments or if you like to use reverb for transition effects. In addition to reverb, there's also reverse, which you want for any sample or sample playback device. Reverse does what it implies. It reverses the playback direction of your recordings, making them play in backwards. The way to reverse a part's playback direction is exactly like incorporating a reverb. Hold down the function button and then hold the reverse button. With both buttons held, I can selectively determine which parts will be reversed. I can reverse one at a time or multiples at once. It's up to me. Reverse samples are great for transition effects and it's also just a cool tool for reversing directions so that the musician is able to get another take on the sound and maybe come up with a different way of using it and hearing it. All right, we've completed looking at the effects of Volca Sample. Now let's take a look at how to use Volca Sample with a computer and really open up this little white box.